hi welcome back so um, uh, on the previous video we've created a user account for your agent and now we are going to assign a phone number to that uh, recently created user account so the next thing you'll do after um, uh, moving over to users here and then creating a user assigning a license to it now we need to continue to voice setup click on that There you go and select the location most of the time it's just one location there as the default click on next select in the office here now you assign a phone number to that user account click on the drop down arrow select a phone number that you have but if you don't have a phone number uh, which you prefer here you have to go to nextiba support nextiba.com slash support address and then enter your email the phone number I'll just enter a 10 digit phone number here and then your question or your request so for example is um, please assign a 973 please assign sorry please assign a phone number to agent1 at your domain.com this is the email user ID so whatever user ID or email that you've uh, assigned to the user during the creation of the account just uh, hit uh, enter it here please assign a phone number to agent1 at your domain.com for example and uh, any 973 area code will do there so if your client requests uh, a 602 area code phone number or a 302 or a 204 area code whichever you prefer as long as Nextiva has it they're going to assign it to the user that you've requested to be assigned on so any 973 area code will do so that's that don't forget to include your account the pin and then the name the, the name the full name of the authorized user that is um, allowed to request anything from Nextiva so most, most of the time, it's the one that set up the Nextiva account. There. So account, the PIN, and then the name. This is, a, I'm referring to the account number here. So once that's done, they, uh, they confirm that it's already been set up or it's already been set. But they, if ever they need questions for your request, they're going to call you back. Or sometimes if they're available, right now they're offline. If they're online, they're going to message you directly here. Okay. So click on email. Once you have the phone number that you need, so I'm gonna assign a, any phone number here. The extension is auto-generated depending on the last four digits of the phone number that you're going to assign. So click on next. If you prefer a different extension, it's fine. So let's say 9001, that's also okay. Click on next. There, so like I said, you need to request a user license first before you can proceed to this setup. So, well, well let's just pretend I have a user license, um, an extra user license here. Just click on the next button and then you're all set. You, your user already has a phone number whenever they make calls. This phone number will show up as the caller ID. If you find this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe for more updates if you have any questions please leave a comment down below see you next time on the next video